What's going on guys? It is Bernardo and today is all about building a Windows 10 2004 reference image with OSD Builder. I think the last time that we touched OSD Builder was uh, last year. Yeah, I think it was last year. Wow. So let's get right into it. All right. So let's just start. All right. On the desktop, I'm actually going to right click on the start menu, go to run. I'm going to type in WinVER, hit OK. And I'm doing everything within a Windows 10 version 1909. Now, this doesn't really matter because I'm going to show you guys how to install and get yourself up and running with OSD Builder. But this is the type of environment that I'm running everything inside of. Now, next thing that we need to do is download the Windows 10 2004 ISO file. Now, within my environment, I already double clicked on it and mounted it on the E drive. Now on the desktop, we are going to click on start and we are going to start typing in PowerShell ISC and we are going to run it as an administrator. And within the user account control, we are going to click yes here. It's going to start loading up the Windows PowerShell ISC. And once it loads up, the first command that we are going to run is the following. Uh, this will install the OSD builder for us. Uh, we're going to run it. You're going to get this nice little dialog box. Just click on yes. It's going to start downloading and installing the OSD builder uh, commandlet within your system. So once it's completed, the next command that we are going to run is the following. We need to set the execution policy uh, to the following. This is what I did within my lab. You probably change it because of security reasons, but it all depends on you. So I ran the following command. And within the execution policy change, I hit yes to all. The next command that we are going to run is we are actually going to import the OSD builder uh, within this PowerShell environment so we can start running our commands. And once that's completed, we are going to run this import OSD media. Now, this is actually going to automatically locate the E drive and start importing the OS media into this PowerShell environment. So when I run it, as you can see right here on the prompt, it is scanning the E drive inside sources install.wim. Eventually it's going to start giving you all the image indexes and it's going to prompt you this nice little dialog box to pick which image index you want to uh, kind of modify as your reference image. For this example, I selected image index three, which is actually Windows 10 Enterprise. And then on your lower right hand side, we are going to click on OK because we select the image index three. It's going to start running the operation. It's going to start copying all the information locally and it's going to dismount the WIM image and then you're done. Not yet. Now we're going to open up the file explorer. And if you open up the file explorer and go to your C drive, you're going to see the OSD builder folder. Now inside there, if you go inside content, ISO extract and windows 10, 2004 language, this is where you drop your cab files, uh, which contains different languages. Now, once you copy all your languages in here, we're going to go back inside PowerShell and we're going to run the following command to update our operating system media. So we are going to run this. You're going to pick your OS media, which is only one on your lower right hand side. We are going to click OK. Once you do that, you're going to see within the prompt, it's going to push out all the Windows updates to your media. Now, this process takes a long time because there's a lot of updates and it's just adding everything inside your media. When it gets to the point that it is dismounting the Windows image, that means it is almost done. And eventually you're going to see the prompt. That means it's done. Now, the next command that we need to run is create a task. And the task name that I gave it is this BTNHD dash and the date that I actually ran it. And I'm actually enabling a .NET framework for this particular task. And I'm going to run this again. We are going to pick our OS media source, which I only have one of them and I'm going to select it. And on your lower right hand side, we are going to click OK and we're done. Now, the last command that we need to run is build our media. So we are going to run the new OS build and by the task name and we're going to execute it as well as skip the component cleanup. If we run this, it's going to start building our OS media. And then once it's done, you're going to get this. So you're probably saying to yourself what to do next. Now, if you open up your file explorer and within your C drive, go inside OSD builder 
and go inside OS builds, you're going to see your Windows 10 Enterprise um, media image. This is your image. This is your reference image. If you go inside this folder, go inside uh, sources, and inside sources, you're going to see install.wim. That WIM file is actually what you're going to import within your MDT server or your SCCM server. Okay, this is completely fully up to date. And if you drop your language cap files inside that folder, that's your reference image. All you have to do is just import this WIM file within your MDT server or your SCCM server and then deploy it to your machines and that's it. And we're done guys. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to hit that thumbs up, smash that subscribe button. Do not forget about hitting that notification bell to get the latest and greatest from this guy. And I catch you guys on the next video. Peace out.